can be mighty without the why. Don't be discouraged if you've got questions. Those questions are going to lead you straight to God. God knows what he's doing. We ask why. He said, because you're mighty. I wish I had some help in this place. Your prayers make you more powerful against the enemy. Why? There goes that why again. That's why I'm mighty. Why, preacher? Because your prayers not only bring you closer to God, but it keeps you from being another statistic. Your prayers keep you from being another probable cause for let downs. And it keeps you from being a probable victim who got prey to the works of the devil, who happens to be your adversary and God's enemy. Your prayers validates when you fail. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell somebody my prayers, my prayers. validate me. Otherwise, you would not have said in the scripture that the fervent, effectual prayers of the righteous avail much. That's right. Your prayers make you more powerful because of power lies in the one who hears them more so than the one who speaks them. I'm going to say that again. Until we get it, it has to go inside. This is a seed, and it must go be past, past our big forehead and into the spirit man that God is trying to get us to understand. I'm not trying to offend you. I'm trying to quicken you in the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Ghost power. Your prayers make you strong because the one who hears them, not so much because of me. What do you mean, preacher? What do you mean? I'm stripping with might because I have the ability to pray and a weak state. Bible says praying always. Yeah. 
without ceasing. You praise God. You praise God in the good, and you praise God in the bad. But seemingly nowadays, there's more bad happening in my life than good. And so I must make up the difference. So the more bad things that are happening in my life, the hardest I'm gonna pray to God. Uh, I pray hardest when I'm going through because I need the strongest man. That's right. Not the most interesting man. I don't know about you, but lately those commercials, he started to look a little bit more sickly than interesting. So therefore, I need the most strong man and the most powerful man to hear a powerful prayer. So stay thirsty, my friends. Uh, now you gotta go to watch commercials. Okay. You got the heads up. Let's hear it today, bro. I need the most powerful man to hear a powerful prayer. Whereas God has designed me to be mighty. With this power. Amen. He seemingly now seen me with this power. Do I need to do that again? Okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright. I'll do it. Whereas God has designed me and has has purpose for me to be this strong. I have been to find myself nowadays with this. I don't know. Where now as people come to me, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? Oh, well, I don't have the answer for that. I don't know where that's going. Where he has designed me to be like this. In the internet. Now, ask your neighbor and say, what sign are you putting up? What sign are you putting up? Are you flexing? Are you flexing? Are you struggling? I know this as some of us couldn't say that because we're lacking in our spirit man. We stop exercising in the spirit. What do we mean? We stop praying. We stop believing. And we stop reading the word of God. We got discouraged. We've seen the prosperity of the wicked. They say, if they can do it, why can't I? Lord, they didn't pay for it yet, so I might as well get out here and do it too. What difference will it make if I get out there and do it, Lord? It's just one more, one less. But God said, well, you got it twisted. It's when the toughest times come where you should pray your heart is not turn away from God. Trouble is hard to draw you closer to God, not away from Him. Let's not get this thing twisted. Uh, that things come in our life. Uh, 
Mr. Not let us hold back. I'll make more to give less. No. I'll make more to give more. I'll make more to give more. I'll do more to give more. God use me more so I can do more. Listen, man, God. If you can't give to 10, start with 1%. And then when you get consistent with the 1, double it to 2. Double that 2 to 4. Oh, it's starting to feel good now. I'm going to 4 to 8. And then it start turning to 10. God, I'm letting it stand. I'm letting the qualification. God, I desire to get more. I earn more. God, I get more, not less. And the problem is we've been doing it so wrong for so long. We're stuck in the mentality. Our mindset is stuck in What if I do less, I'll have more. No, baby, because if you do less, you got to give out more.